Please subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button and hitting the bell icon and get all the latest video updates directly on your mobile phone. So hello friends, today we will be discussing about the geometric mean method of population forecasting. It is also called as geometric increase method. So without wasting time, let us look at the formula. The formula goes like this. Pn is equal to P0 into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N. Let's look at a problem. When we solve a problem, we can come to know the meaning of all the terms in the formula. So let's start the problem. Problem is like this. Year is given, population is given. And they have asked the population in 2020. So, okay. so if this is the given data and they ask if they are, assume, uh, they are asking the population at 2020. So what is the population at 2020? If they are asking this, then Pn is equal to P2020. That is population at 2020. This is the meaning of two, uh, Pn. So I think you have now got Pn. In the formula of uh, geometrical mean method, the formula is Pn is equal to P0 into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N. They will give this data, that is uh, the year and population. This table will be given. So by seeing this data, uh, and uh, they will ask the population at a particular decade. So that we have to write it as Pn is equal to P2020. They will ask in the question, what is the population at 2020? So that will be our Pn, that is P2020. Next, what is P0? P0 is the population value in the last known decade. The last known decade is 1990, after which the population of the city is not known, right? That is the 2000, what was the population not known? 2010, what was the population not known? But 1990 population is known and that is 1 lakh. So this 1 lakh will be our P0. The last known decade's population is P0. So P0 is equal to 1 lakh. So now Pn also over, P0 also over. What is N? N is they have asked the population for 2020, right? So 2020 minus last known population is 1990. 1990 divided by 10. So what is in? It is the value that is the population at the decade of population at asked for and the decade, the last known decade of the population. So you have to subtract these two and divide it by 10. So what is the value of 2020 minus 1990? 30, right? 30 by 10, which gives you ultimately 3. So therefore, n is equal to 3. So now n also over. So in the formula, we got to know Pn, we got to know P0, we got to know N. Only R is remaining. Now I will tell you how to find R. Okay. So for to find R, you have to rewrite the table in a different form. You have to rewrite the table in a different form. You have to write like this. Here, population. X. R. I will now say, what is X and what is R? So because I'm skipping a lot of terms here, because I am assumed that you have seen the earlier video, so I'm skipping a lot of terms. I'm skipping of explaining all those terms because I already done that in the earlier video. So please visit that. Okay. So now X, as you know from the earlier video, it is the per decade increase in population, right? So per decade increase in population, per decade increase in population. We took the see in this, you can see that in the earlier uh, problem that is this was in uh, arithmetical mean method 1950 population of 1000 1960 population of 10000 1970 20000 1980 30000 1990 50000 they had asked the population at 2020 so we had solved it using arithmetical increase method so what we did was we took another thing that is x this thing is x per decade increase in population this is x okay so what we did was we just subtracted 10000 minus 1000 wrote 9000 20000 minus 10000 10000 30000 minus 20000 10000 50000 minus 30000 20000 so to find x bar, what we did was we just added all this and divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So this was done in the arithmetical mean method. I have just explained it again. Okay. So but it is better if you are if you have seen the earlier video. Okay. Uh, at least now if you are not seen, please go to the earlier video and see it. Uh, the link is in description. Also, there's a uh, in the card also it is available. So this is x. Same uh, thing we are writing here in this particular problem. Okay. So it is 1960, 1970, 1980, 1990, right? So 1960. 1970, 1980, 10, 1000, 30, 000, 65, 1000, 1 lakh. X, as I said, X is just the difference. Okay. 30,000 minus 20,000, uh, sorry, 30,000 minus 10,000, 20,000. 65 minus 30, 35,000. 1 lakh minus 65,000, 
अगेन थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड आर इज पर डेकेड परसेंटेज इंक्रीज इन पॉपुलेशन so in earlier what we did was we just took the difference but here we are taking the percentage increase so how to take the percentage increase this is the increased value right we have to just take the percentage how much it has been increased with respect to earlier value so this is 20000 earlier was 10000 right 20000 earlier was 10000 so just divide it 20000 divided by 10000 into 100 percentage that is 200% increase we have found From 1960 to 1970, what is the increase in population? 200 percent. So this is in percent. We are just finding out the increase in population in percentage. So 200 percent of increase in population took place. Next, 35,000 by earlier was 30,000. So you see, I am again explaining. From 1960 to 1970, if you want to in, uh, find out the percentage increase in population, what you have to do is you have to take the difference from 1960 to 1970. Difference is 20,000 divided by original value, that is 10,000. 20,000 by 10,000 into 100. So from 1970 to 1980, difference is 35,000. Earlier was 30,000 by 100. Uh, sorry, into 100. So 35,000 divided by 30,000 into 100. So 116 percent. So 116.66 percent of increase in population. Next, from 1980 to 1980, 35,000 increase in population has taken place. So what's the percentage? Thirty-five thousand by sixty-five thousand. Into hundred. That is fifty-three point eight four. So this is R. That is the per decade percentage increase in population is R. Per decade percentage increase in population. So now we will use the formula. So, the form oh, so oh, one second, one second. So now R can be found out by just taking the mean of these increase in percentage increase in population. That is 200 plus 116.66 plus 53.84 divided by three. There are three values, right? So, so 200 plus 116.66 plus 53.84 divided by three, which gives us 123.5. So R is equal to 123.5. So we got R is equal to 123.5. So, back to the formula again. R is equal to 123.5. So, in this formula, just use the formula P n is equal to P naught into 1 plus R by 100 whole power n. So, P n is P to 2020. They have asked the population in 2020. So, is equal to P naught is last known population is 1 lakh, 1 lakh into 1 plus R. We have got it to be 123.5 by 100. We got R here, 123.5. Whole power n, n we found it to be a three. So 2020 population is 123.5 by 100 whole cube into one lakh. So it is one 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 six four three two point seven eight. So it is eleven lakh. So eleven lakh sixteen thousand four thirty two point seven eight. You can approximate it to eleven lakh sixteen thousand four thirty. So the population or the estimated or the predicted for population at two thousand twenty is eleven lakh sixteen thousand four hundred and thirty peoples. So this is the way we can solve it. You can just note down the formula. Geometric method formula is P n is equal to P naught into one plus R by hundred whole power n. R can be found out by finding the difference that is x by original into hundred. So difference is thirty thousand minus ten thousand twenty thousand by original ten thousand into hundred. Okay, twenty thousand by ten thousand into hundred. Again, thirty five thousand by thirty thousand into hundred. Thirty five thousand by sixty five thousand into hundred. Okay, okay. So this is how we solve the geometric increase method problems.